James with Love My Pups and MyBreedingSupply.com. You probably know us from Shipmate. It's our computerized uh, thermos, electronic thermos for shipping semen, and we've had great success with that. Um, and I've been working on a whelping box that I can manufacture and offer to other people for the last couple of years. I've built many whelping boxes for myself uh, in, because the products I see out there, I think that they have serious flaws. Um, so I've been working on something that number one is shippable, so I can get it to people, so it doesn't cost them an arm and leg to get it shipped to them, and it's stowable so they can put it away when they're not using it. But primarily the things it has to do is it's got to make mum safe and happy, and it has to make the puppies so they don't get squashed and keep them warm. Seems like a very easy thing to do, and uh, the products that you see out there, commercial products like Dura Welp, uh, they have big problems uh, for various reasons, primarily because of the heat. Um, so one of the things that happens to puppies when they're first born is they've got to keep them warm for the first 10 days of their life. If you don't do that, then puppies suffer. Um, the problem is, is that the amount of heat you have to put in is 100 degrees for the puppies, way too hot for mama, mama doesn't like it. Then the other thing that happens is, is that puppies get squashed. Mama gets tired, she rolls on a puppy, the puppy can't get out of the way, and so then the puppy gets squashed, can't breathe, can't get to, to uh, maybe where it needs to keep warm, and the next thing you know is, is you go to check your puppies and you find you've got a dead puppy. And if you don't have a thing called pig rail, you're gonna run into that problem. Okay, so how is this thing different? So it comes from two components. <clears throat> There's a part that I manufacture that's in this box. We're gonna take that out now. And what that is, is, it's a heater system that we have to install on the bottom of a tray that comes with a standard crate. So there's also some pipes in here. And these are what's called a pig rail. Okay, we're gonna get rid of that. So we've got a pig rail, and I'll show you what that is here in a little bit. And then really the, the, the heart of this thing is this heater system. And um, we're going to go into it in more detail in a separate video. But basically, this is a heater that gets attached to the bottom of the whelping tray. And it has a thermostat in it so that we can exactly control the temperature around the periphery of the whelping box. And this is the thing that makes this unique and what really makes the difference between just putting a heating pad and having this product. But we'll put that away. More of that here in a little bit. We're going to have to install it. Okay. So this is a standard crate. It's a large size crate. They come in different sizes. I had this shipped Amazon Prime. To get it here, it cost me 44 bucks. So you're gonna buy that, and there's different sizes you can buy, but you're gonna buy that from Amazon. So that's 44 bucks. And inside that is, let's tray this down below. So that's, so that's what you buy from Amazon. The 44 bucks. You can buy it a bit less. You can buy it as low as 40 bucks. It is a crate that is designed to fold away and put under a bed when you're finished with it. Okay, very easy to assemble. It comes assembled. All you have to do is lift the sides out, like this, lift the middle up, like this, a couple of clips to the side, there and there. And up. And if you look at this on Amazon, um, they get good reviews. People like them for their dogs. They're pretty robust. You can put a big dog in this. And when you're finished with it, you can store it on your bed. So there is the crate. So I started off by trying to manufacture a crate. Man, it's you've got to make so many of these things if you're going to be able to make a commercial product you can sell for any reasonable price. That was silly. I stopped that some time ago. You know, I thought, you know, it makes no sense to me to be trying to make crates. There's already a foldable crate that you can buy. So this has got a couple of doors on it. They're lockable, so you can close it up, and it locks. It's got two little latches, and then actually this one actually has a side door too. Kind of nice. So there's a side door as well. Okay. So now, what do we need? We need a pig rail, and that is what these pieces here are for. The pig rail is a little ledge on the inside that a puppy can get underneath, but if mum backs up against the puppy so it's squashed against the wall, it won't get squashed because the pig rail saves the puppy. So that is what this is here. So we're gonna install this pig rail. All right. Let's see. Now this 
this is pretty simple. So basically what you do is this clips in. in there. <clears throat> these pieces just slot into these holes. This one. There's the other. Now need access to it from the front. Put the door up. Pop that into there. Pop that into there. And there's some little slots cutting the end of these little pipes. Let this. It's got to be tight because you don't want anything to come apart. So I'm doing a little bit of wrestling here. There we go. And there it is. Pig rail. Done. Super, super easy. Super, super strong. Mum is going to come up against this. Puppy's underneath it. Puppy's absolutely safe. So there's a ledge all the way around. This is critical to anybody who produces any, makes any kind of a homemade or commercial whelping box, if you don't have a pig rail, I promise you that you will, if you have enough puppies, you will lose puppies. You will get puppies in the squash. So there's the fundamental box. That's it, very easy. Put it together in five minutes. Uh, not expensive. When you're finished with it, you can collapse it, put it underneath the bed, forget about it, get another puppy. We're in the closet. Okay, so where are we going to pause this and go to the next part?